Don't leave me hanging. It's go time. Hey everybody, it's Josh, and here we have game two in a best of three series being played between OGS Nada, the Blue Terran, on the top of Scrap Station, and TSL Tester over on the right side. His actual ID is TSL SSKS, but he's very well known as Tester, as that was his Brood War name, and SSKS is just kind of a weird name, so gonna continue calling him Tester for the rest of this series, but uh, he's the Red Protoss over on the right, and he actually did win game one on Lost Temple against Nada. Nada being one of the greatest StarCraft 1 players of all time, uh, now playing StarCraft 2 with OGS. He is um, playing lots of practice games with the Team Liquid fellows, and uh, they are all practicing together for GSL 3. Tester, unfortunately, did not qualify for GSL 3, didn't qualify for GSL 2, and actually hasn't been seen a lot since the end of the beta, so hopefully um, he'll be able to make a bit of a name for himself here. This best of three is being played for the uh, round of 16 in the StarCraft 2 All-Stars Invitational, which was broadcast by GOM TV about a week ago and uh, has a pretty hefty prize pool. I'm not sure exactly how much first place gets. I'll find out before I do the next cast, as I do like to know that stuff myself. But uh, Nada is going to be doing very standard stuff so far. have to get that supply depot first these days to get that barracks up. Uh, Tester just building a gateway right there in his base. No proxy shenanigans for these guys, at least yet. Um, there's always a chance of proxy stargates and things like that in the future. But uh, both players getting their gas about when I would expect them to. Tester should be dropping another pylon in the Cybernetics Core next, whereas Nada should be getting an Orbital Command next. So the first game we saw Max Armies, Max Level Protoss Army against Max Level Terran Army, and Protoss came out the victor with just lots of splash damage against those huge bio balls of Nada. 3-2 Colossi are very, very scary to try and fight against, especially when they have a huge supporting force of sentries and phoenixes like Tester had. Not a lot of harassment play throughout that game. We saw Tester drop two zealots at a time a couple of times on that top spawn location that Nada had expanded to, um, but that's basically it. We saw one tiny drop by Nada in the main of Tester and it got cleaned up very handily as well so maybe harassment isn't the forte of either of these players but we'll see uh, if anything changes here in game two on Scrap Station. Factory coming up for Nada very quickly. He's not going to be doing the one racks fast expand um, just yet or not at all actually or he would have done it by now but um, instead it looks like he's probably going to be going either marine tank or the 111 build he is getting that second gas fairly quickly tester already with his second assimilator finished what is he building off to the side just a pylon for now we'll see what tech building he chooses to get next probably still going to be a gateway as unless you're just rushing for void rays or something um, which you almost never see anymore because of uh, their damage nerf in recent patches um, you almost always get that second gateway just to be safe against the extremely strong uh, tier 1 units of Terran and this stalker pops out in a perfect location to just uh, destroy this SCV of Nada so Nada has three marines up right now trying to chase this probe the probe is much faster than the marines if he can actually just keep running straight he would actually stay alive but now he seems to be pinned a little bit these marines run out in front to meet him and both players are gonna lose their scouting workers Nada is getting a starport up very quickly, so it looks like he did go 1-1-1. We'll see if he's able to, uh, I don't know, maybe make a Banshee this time and try and catch uh, Tester by surprise. Um, is that second gateway coming down yet? No, it is a Stargate. Wow, so um, if he gets a Void Ray, I will have to eat my words. Uh, I'm thinking that'll probably be a Phoenix, though, just so we can start lifting mules and killing mules off and just being annoying in general with Phoenixes rather than getting a... Um, avoid ray very quickly we'll see the yeah it is a phoenix whoo i thought i was gonna have to eat my words there void rays are just not so great um and haven't been for a while but they're good complements for a main army they're just not so great on their own especially against this many marines um marines can actually kill off void rays pretty quickly now but uh ooh, a first tank out for nada this is good for him he starts moving across the map already chasing down uh, these stalkers but i don't think he's going to be able to catch them so he does just turn around what is up over here? It's just a supply depot. I thought it might have been some air unit. It was not. And SCV is scouting again for Nada. He was not happy that he lost his first one. Ooh, looks like Tester is going to be building a pylon here. I like that forward placement so he can do some warp ends in the near future. His warp gate research did just finish, so his uh, first two gates are going to be flipping over. And the first Phoenix is out. Second Phoenix on the way. He will be able to lift mules soon. He's getting those Phoenixes out of view of that SCV. I don't know if 
uh, Nada actually saw the phoenixes. I think he... No, he didn't even see the Stargate, so that's good for Tester. Now he's flying across the map with these first two phoenixes. Should be able to lift a mule if there's one down. I don't even see one down. He does have enough energy for one, so Nada actually slipping on his macro a little bit uncharacteristically. Uh, that first SUV does get lifted and blasted away. Another one should be um, ripe for the picking before these marines show up. Yes, only takes three shots. So the Phoenixes get two quick SCV kills and just run on out of there. Uh, 32 probes from Tester against only 20 SCVs of Nada. So Nada just cranking out units, going for a very quick game here. He does have a Banshee up. I'm not sure why it was way off to the left. Probably just wanted to hide it from those Phoenixes so he didn't lose it very quickly. Uh, I don't believe Cloak was researched either. Let me find that Banshee again uh, so I can find out for sure. I'm not sure where he went. Oh, he's way up on the top of the map. No, no Cloak. No cloak researched yet, uh, and Nada is actually pushing through the middle of the map, sending that Banshee around to the mineral line. He's going uh, more or less all in with that number of workers. Only 19 SCVs and a mule gets 33 probes. I have to imagine Nada is looking for a win right here, right now, as he pushes with all these Marines and tanks and single Banshee in the back, shooting away at these probes now. He's got two kills already. Not a lot of anti-air here, only a few Stalkers. They're going to have to get right underneath that Banshee to be able to kill it off. And that means they're going to have to ignore the front. Oh, these two Phoenixes, of course, swoop in to save the day. But um, Nada chilling at the front of Tester's base, now actually bunkering up. There is a probe over here, not really doing much, but... Now that Tester realizes what's going on, he's going to be adding on two more gateways, flipping them over to warp gates soon, I hope, and trying to protect himself against this. Nada's position actually looks really strong right now. 54 food against 62, but the difference is made where Nada has a lot more fighting units than Tester has, and now he's starting to crawl up the ramp here with this bunker and these siege tanks moving ever so slightly forward. Uh, one little leapfrog at a time. These two phoenixes are still flying around just to see exactly how big Nada's army is. Uh, Nada trying to poke in there, but just getting blasted by siege tanks. Oh, and Immortals out now, so uh, these three Immortals taking charge here, trying to blast down these tanks. The phoenixes swoop in from behind, just lift the tanks, just to prevent them from doing any damage. These Immortals should be able to come in here, finish off this last tank, and now Nada has basically been neutered uh, with those two tanks lifted and the rest of those tanks being blasted down by the Immortals. The Tier 1 units warping in here from these four gates should be enough to clean up this uh, bunker uh, positioning of Nada. Yes, no more SCV there to repair or anything. Lots and lots of units still alive for Tester. So now that this bunker is smashed down, uh, Nada very very low on army. 27 supply against 53. Tester should have this in the bag barring any huge mistakes and uh, he is starting to move across the middle of the map now to come say goodbye to Nada. We'll see if he's able to defend and right now gonna pull up the units tab. Two marines, one tank, and 18 SCVs. Not sure what's gonna happen here. This tank does siege up but it just takes a single lift from a phoenix to get him totally out of the fight. These two marines I don't believe uh, are going to be able to actually fight this off. And Nada does GG, so Tester uh, showing that he is not done with StarCraft 2. He is nowhere near um, retired. He is going to continue playing StarCraft 2 with all his might and takes out a very, very reputable uh, StarCraft 2 player, OGS Nada. And so uh, congratulations to Tester. There's not going to be a Game 3. Uh, I'm actually going to make a spoiler video this time around just based on some suggestions from my viewers. So thanks for the suggestion. We'll see how it goes uh, with <laughs> with this series that I upload. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm going to cast a lot more series from the StarCraft II All-Stars Invitational, so I hope you guys appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.